This episode of Clueless Cocktails is brought to you by Pickett's Menthol Cigarettes. Pickett's. What's that smell? It's Pickett's. Ah, gee, Sonny. Tell him to come down to the new Jack Taylor picture. It'll be a real... Secretary. Perfect. Doozy. It's got the Agatha Butchman, see? And... Hey! You there! What do you think you're doing? Shoo! Shoo! Get out of here! What do you think you're doing there, see? Spying on me? Why I ought to pop you right in the keister? <laughs> it's me! <laughs> it was a joke! You fool! You should have seen the look on your face, you idiot! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Clueless Cocktails. I'm your backyard bartender, Jackson. Today, we've got a very classic drink dating all the way back to 1894. It's called the Manhattan. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is fill up your entire shaker with ice. Then you're gonna add two ounces of Maker's Mark Sweet Kentucky Whiskey. One ounce of sweet vermouth and one to three dashes of bitters. Then you're gonna wanna stir it, not shake it. Then, close it off, and we're gonna strain it into our glass. And finally, to make it all fancy, you're gonna add one singular maraschino cherry. And now it's time, as always, for the taste test. Now this is known as a very manly drink, so I got the manliest man I know to come taste test. Father? It tastes like ass. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Clueless Cocktails. As usual, I'm your backyard bartender, Jackson. We'll see you next time. Bienvenidos a otro episodio de Coctales Despitados. That is the extent of my Spanish. The room is spinning. I think I need, I need to sit down. Your backyard bartender, Jackson. Today, we are taking a trip down to Cuba for the daiquiri that was made in 1902. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna grab your cocktail shaker and you're gonna to wanna to fill it three quarters full with ice. Then you're going to want to get two and a half ounces of your favorite premium rum. Follow that up with one ounce of grapefruit juice, half an ounce of that sweet, simple syrup. Then top it off with one ounce of lime juice. Then you're going to want to give it a good shake. And now we strain the drink into our glass. And now you want to get your drink out of the way. Fancy it up. Slice the lime in half. Hiya! Now you just want to get a nice thin wheel. Take a toothpick. Ugh. Then you want to place the garnish on the rim of the in the glass. And now it's time, as always, for the taste test. You're going to want to take the lime and it's a nice palate cleanser. I felt like the 
this before. Um, that'll... That'll do it for this... This episode of... Clueless Cocktails. to another episode of Clueless Cocktails. I'm your backyard bartender, Jackson. Today, we are taking a trip to Paui in 1922 for a drink called the Sad Cow. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do for this drink is grab a lemon. And you're gonna wanna, and then just rub it around the rim. And then you wanna take your bowl of sugar, and roll it around in there. Give it a nice sugar rim. So then what you're gonna wanna do is grab your ice. Fill your cocktail shaker three quarters full. Okay, so maybe skip the ice. After that, you're gonna wanna add two ounces of premium brandy, half an ounce of cointrao, and half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Then you're gonna wanna give it a nice hearty shake. And now, we want to strain our drink into the glass. Perfect. And now, for the most important touch. You want to get rid of your lemons. You're going to take an orange. You're going to get a nice, thin slice. You're going to take a little, little sliver out of it you're going to stick it on the glass. Now the orange is the most important part of the drink. It's what makes the sidecar the sidecar. And now it's time for the taste test. Other than the moment the drink touched my lips until it went down my gullet, it's a pretty good drink. It's a pretty good drink. That'll do it for this episode of Coolest Cocktails. As always, I'm your backyard bartender, Jackson. We'll see you next time. Au revoir! Friday evening, asking for a cocktail. Yeah, you don't invite me into your home. Your wife never made me supper. You don't even call me bartender. You know, I should kill you for what you've done with me here today. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you. Who do you think I am? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Clueless Cocktails. I'm your backyard bartender, Jackson. Today we are taking a trip to Italy for the oldest drink in the Clueless Cocktail collection, the Amaretto Sour, designed in 1786. And now I'm very excited to introduce, for the very first time here on Clueless Cocktails, a special guest drink maker, my cousin, Bully. Bully! Get in here! I'm thirsty over here. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? I don't know how any of this works. You're gonna start with two ounces of amaretto liqueur. Good stuff. That's too much, Paul. It's too much. Don't make me call your mother. One ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Pull, pull. Mm -hmm. Not your work knife. Use the kitchen knife. Mm -hmm. Bro, my knife. Pulley. Pulley. One ounce of simple syrup and two ounces of fresh orange juice. I really swear to f***ing God, if you rub me in baby street like that again in front of the family. You want the taste club? The taste club. Paulie, I want you to f***ing listen. And now Paulie is gonna shake the drink. Paulie? No, 
No, Polly. What the fuck was what? that? What? Shake, I shook. What do you need? Polly. I shook the drink. Polly, you know what I meant. Shake the god. Polly, shake the goddamn drink. That's all I got. Okay, all right. It's, it's now. Really good. Polly, shut the f And now it's time for Polly to serve our drink. All right, I'm back. God's sakes, Paulie, serve the f***ing drink. You're talking about putting it in the glass. Paulie! You want it in the glass? Paulie, serve the f***ing drink. I've been messing up my hair. Oh, Jesus Christ. Paulie, Paulie, Paulie! Oh, it's going in the glass. It swill. I wouldn't even feed well, that to my f***ing dog. It's not too much my God! Paulie! Watch and learn. All right. Pour. And then. I'm saying, what do you, that's what Paulie. I did. Gabagoosh. That's it. Oh, Get off set. All right. Get the hell out of here! And now it's time for the taste test. I swallowed the cherry. Bully! Bully! Oh! Help! Oh! Help! Oh. Oh. Bully! Help! Bully! You got it! Bully! to another episode of Clueless Cocktails. I'm your backyard bartender, Jackson. Do you like pina coladas? Do you like getting caught in the rain? Well then we have got a- Damn it, Maddie! I said no to the rain bit! Now I have to do this soaking wet cause you don't know how to listen! Well, we're gonna- <laughs> Today we are taking a trip to Puerto Rico for a drink that was made in 1954. It's called the Pina Colada. We are ditching the cocktail shaker and instead we are using a blender. In the blender you're going to want to combine one and a half ounces of light rum, one and a half ounces of creme of coconut, three ounces of crushed pineapple, one ounce of fresh lime juice. Finally, half an ounce of simple syrup. Then after that, you're gonna wanna blend it right up. <laughs> then once you get it looking all nice and smooth, you're gonna wanna take the top off and you're gonna wanna throw a cup of ice in. Then once you've got it all blended up, you're gonna wanna take your glass and you're gonna wanna serve it. Then what you're gonna wanna do is move your drink, get a nice, Pineapple, slice it a little bit, garnish the glass with it, and then finally you're going to take some ground nutmeg and sprinkle it on top. And now it's time, as always, for the taste test. Yeah, it's not really my kind of drink. I'm not a huge fan. It's kind of a shame, honestly. It is what it is. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode of Clueless Cocktails. I'm your backyard bartender, Jackson. We'll see you next 